Okay, my name is Will Wright. I've been making games for, oh God, longer than I want to admit. Uh, designed games like SimCity, The Sims, most recently Spore. Uh, just left Electronic Arts to start my own startup called The Stupid Fun Club, where we're going to be doing things uh, beyond games. Well, when I'm creating something new, it's, you know, of course there's a lineage to stuff I've made before, but uh, one of my big interests has always been, you know, fan communities, getting them involved in the creative process. Uh, when I did SimCity, which was one of our very first games, you know, it was a game not where you were given a city to manage, but where you were, you were given a flat landscape that was empty and you were told to build a city. So from the very beginning, these games were kind of constructive, where the player was put in the role of designing the artifact, whether it be a city or a family or a new species or a world, like in Spore. So I think there's kind of that aspect of it, is that I like making tools for creativity. You know, as a kid, I spent a lot of time building models, and so I like giving that ability to other people so they can build models that come to life in interesting dynamic ways. And on top of that, you know, then, you know, how do we use these models to build interesting entertainment experiences? It, you know, graphics are a tool toward a certain end. Uh, Spore, in fact, is gra graphically very heavy. Um, not in the ways that games traditionally are, though. Uh, you know, in terms of the number of pixels on the screen and the rendering of the seams, it's about average for a particular game. But the fact that we had to teach the computer to texture and animate and model these characters that the players were creating uh, was, you know, kind of beyond the research level of graphics on the procedural side. But that bought us a lot of things on the social side, so that basically players had this huge leverage on what they could create. They create a lot of stuff, and also it's very compressible. So the fact that it's very small assets that we're moving around means that we can transport this across the web and share it very freely. So I don't really believe in you know attacking graphics just for the sake of technology, but when it does have a social benefit, like it did in Spore, then yes, we will dig down and you know solve some fairly thick graphics issues. Um, and you know, so a lot of ways the Wii really is a step back from this technological arms race. Uh, you know, the PS3 really was assuming that it was going to be this Moore's Law. The PS3 had to be that much faster than the PS2. And Nintendo kind of took a totally different direction. They said, okay, well, we're not going to make our processor that much more powerful. Instead, we're going to basically focus on the social experience. What do people really want to do that feels like a different experience, that feels more social with people in a room? And I think that's, you know, a recognition of how important the psychological dimension of gameplay and interactive design is alongside the technological dimension. You can have one or the other, but without both, kind of in a symbiotic role, uh, you're not hitting the sweet spot. Oh, I can't really talk about any projects I'm working on right now. I wish I could. Um, hopefully before the end of the year, some of them will be publicly announced. But uh, it's in some ways going to seem familiar in terms of the kind of trajectory of my career, but in other ways it's going to seem like a very a complete departure in interesting directions, which is why I'm excited about it. I think this is something that's going to sneak up on us. You know, I think we're starting to see it happen you know, on television and the way they're presenting stuff. I think we're starting to see it on our mobile devices in terms of the information that we now have accessible to us you know, in the here and now where I'm sitting you know, on a minute-to-minute -minute basis. We're seeing it in our social networks you know, and the way we're using those in web and online environments. So I think that this is something that's bubbling up on all fronts. It's almost like this rising tide that you know, two years later we're going to look back and kind of realize that there was a real transition point around now.